Hi, this is Bishop Bob Coulter with another word of encouragement for the week from TMCI. I want to share with you Matthew 16, 18. And it says, I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. What I want you to look at is the phrase, the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. Haiti is a place where people are held captives until Christ set them free after he died on the cross. Notice the word gates. Gates are designed to keep people out and to keep people in. In battle time, the gate is a defensive tool to keep the enemy out. The good news is the gates of hell cannot keep God's people out. The gates will fall through the revelation and power of the Holy Spirit that he gives you. The problem with most Christians is that we are playing a defensive game, praying that Satan will not attack us or our family. Frankly, most people are afraid of Satan. However, in this scripture, Matthew 16, 18, it's clear to me that we need to be on the offense to attack Satan and break down the gates of hell that are holding people captive. This is an old saying that the best defense is a good offense. It's time that we realize the authority and power Christ has given us to overcome the enemy. And in his name and by the shedding of his blood, we will have the victory. Folks, it's time for us to take back territory that the enemy has stolen. It is ours for the taking if we step out by faith, by the power of the Holy Spirit, which is operating in your life. To push the forces of hell out of the way, you have to be more determined than hell itself. You have to be willing to do anything necessary to get the job done. The vision before you must be more important than your own personal pleasure. And when you adopt this mentality of, for your life, you will always push through hard times and take significant territory for the kingdom of God. Remember the word God gave us at TMC, which I shared before? says, this is a year of epic growth in numerically and spiritually. I am, God says, to those who listen to my spirit, are going to bring new revelation in the power and the authority to take new territory. But you have to be willing to pay the price and step out by faith. Too often, we let the lies of Satan stop us from stepping out by faith. We are told that we don't have the education, don't have the funds, and it's impossible to do something like that, especially in this culture. God says with men, it's impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So the question is, who are you going to believe? Your doubts are God's word. Many people are waiting for God to move in their life, when in reality, God is not going to move until you take the first step by faith. When you take the first step, God will give you all the wisdom and knowledge to fulfill the calling on your life and to supply the resources to complete it as you need it. But for God to move in your life, you must take the first step by faith. Now's the time to move by faith under the power and the authority of the Holy Spirit to take back territory the enemy has stolen, to step out by faith and be the harvester that God has called you to be. This is not a time to be timid for Christ, but boldly speak the truth in love to declare the word of God in your life, in your ministry, and to your ministry area. You have been called to influence those around you for Christ. You are Christ's ambassador to your family, to your neighbor, to the people you work with, and all who you come in contact with. Our job is to allow him to completely use us the way he wants to use us in places where he wants us and then work through us to complete his plan through us. Each of us who do our part, God will bring it together and our nations will be one for Christ. I pray this is an epic year for you, your family and ministry as you let God through the Holy Spirit guide you into many victories this year and that you take much, much territory from the enemy. Remember, if you let the Holy Spirit guide you, you'll be in the right place at the right time with the right word and the right actions to get the victory over any situation. 
Have a blessed week and a blessed new year.